Yo, what is good, my anime people? I have really enjoyed myself the reincarnated as a sword. I do truly believe there's potential for a lot of these characters in the E class. Hopefully, they're not just instantly taken out and fodderized. But at the end of the day, these are the types of shows where they could probably do that and get away with it. Killing off a bunch of people who we just learned and know very little about. And if that is the case, I wouldn't be surprised to find out if who winds up getting bodied when it comes down to people being really nasty towards our girl, not giving her the credit she deserves, stuff like that. And honestly, I do like what I'm seeing when it comes down to her fighting by herself. This is something she struggles with, and she's still pushing forward, knowing she has a sword by her side that will give her more information and different stuff like that. It also gives her a ridiculous amount of freedom uh, to not have to cast everything. Do every like, move fast, cast everything. All that stuff gets, you know, transferred to him cast the magic while she's just worried about using her sword and keeping balance. That's the type of stuff that has been really cool to see between them. But knowing that that might change is also very interesting. Knowing only so much about this Amanda person, it's pretty clear that if we can push anything back on her with just our girl, she might have a hard time dealing with both of them, but that is a guess. With this ability that she has being able to null any damage, I can't really tell how long it's activated. And if it is activated, she's going to completely attack you until you're done, right? She's going to force you to retreat or quit because that ability is active and it has a 24 hour cooldown, meaning She's very vulnerable for the rest of this dungeon in comparison to when she was just here not uh, practicing. So, just because of one little black cat, she has wasted her best ability and taught a lot of others what it is. And there's still something about Amanda that just is off. Her being an A rank, her being so enticed with that girl, <coughs> not to mention using such force and power to try to subdue her just so she can hold it over her head. All of it's interesting, and it has me very curious to see what is in the future for this show. But of course, this battle was epic. Her slapping the guy that needed to be slapped was epic. Um, I'm in love with this show in the case of, like, the potential. I know it's not going to end with the season one, so hopefully the next season can keep it just as interesting or funny. Uh, but yeah, that being said, I hope you all have an amazing one. I am your boy, the Anime G, and I'll definitely be talking to you all sooner than later. Check out the shorts, drop some likes, subscribe, all that good stuff. But just a view is really thankful. So I appreciate it. Peace.